Hey! What is up? I had to turn this music off. I have to find this music first. There it is. Alright. It was off for you, it wasn't off for me. Um, what's up? 2019. We're, we're back on our bullshit. <laughs> first of all, first of all, Lookouts Girl, thank you for the Twitch Prime sub. That is awesome of you. Uh, you, you subbed too early to get the, 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 the jingle jangle, but welcome to high society anyway. Um, we're going to stream, uh, we're going to draw or draw. We're going to, what do we do? Shit, man. It's been too long. It's been too long. I actually almost started this stream without setting up my microphone. <laughs> so it's been a minute. I, I was like, I was like, man, I feel like something's missing. And I, I was like, I set up the lights. I don't. What more do you guys want from me? And then, uh, and then I realized, oh, yeah, the microphone. <laughs> You're gonna resend the anniversary message. I don't know how to. Re I don't know how to resend. Are you doing that? Am I doing that? Are, are, are you doing that? <laughs> I, I don't know. So, so. I hope you're, I hope you're, uh, <laughs> I hope that your, uh, 2018 ended really great. I hope you had a nice holiday, no matter what you celebrate. Uh, I hope you had a good new year. Um, it was a little crazy on my end. I wanted to stream earlier in the year than, than the ninth, which is bizarre, but, uh, the, I had a buddy in town. It was kind of spur of the moment thing. He decided to come into town. Um, uh, which was awesome, but then it was like, well, I guess I'm not going to stream this week. Uh, so he was here for New Year's. It was great. We played a lot of games. We played, uh, we played Clank. Uh, we played One Deck Dungeon. We played, uh, Fireball Island. We played a ton of board games. A ton of board games. Sushi Go. We played a bunch of that. Um, what else do we play? We played a lot. Uh... Yeah, and we played we played a bunch of video games. He and I as well. We played some uh uh, what's the undercooked, overcooked, something about like the cooking game where you run around frantically. We played that together. It was a good time. Um, at any rate, at any rate, you guys don't care about any of that. What you do care about is the hardcore comic scene. That's what you're here for. <laughs> you're like. Get this personal crap out of my face. Comics. Always. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so. Let me, uh, let me, before we, before we kick it over to Photoshop, let me open something real quick. So that, that way you're not seeing, you're not seeing all my secret files that I have. You're not seeing my blacklist that I have with other pencilers. That's not a thing that exists. Don't don't make that a thing. <laughs> uh, which cons am I doing this year? You're you're if you're gonna be at Heroes and MegaCon, uh, I will see you at Heroes. MegaCon's off the table for me this year, uh, unfortunately. I like doing MegaCon, but um, I like it's on Memorial Day weekend, and it used to be that. When Shane was in school and she had like a lot of time off, she was like, you know, like, like do whatever cons you want. We have time together. It's fine. It was like our time was flexible. And now that she has a nine to fiver, uh, she's, her job is more limiting. And she's like, fucking Memorial Day weekend again. And I'm like, all right, all right, all right, all right. No mega con this year. <laughs> so yeah, no mega con, but, uh, I should be at heroes. I actually saw, um, we're going to, we're going to kick it over to this. I actually saw a somebody post that they've booked their hotel for heroes already and like yo i can't handle this like breakneck pace of like getting things ready like i i mean like i get it it's like it's months in advance but it's not like i don't know is it close is it far what is time i don't know this is this is why craig this is this is why I need you. Ridiculous. He's not booking anything. He's just shaking his head at me. Ugh. You're stoked for Heroes. A lot of artists. Yeah. Heroes is great. Uh, Heroes is one of the best cons I, I go to, period. 
Um, I'm trying out Baltimore this year, by the way, or I'm going to try to. I haven't applied yet or booked it. I haven't booked anything. Everything is theoretical, <laughs> except for Emerald City. Emerald City is the only one that's like locked in. But yeah, for right now, I have a theoretical Boston that I hear is also very, very good. Um, you're already getting your stuff together for Heroes? Uh, yeah, I gotta... Man, I gotta do it. So, uh, we talked about goals. Um, time is relative until you run out of it. Yeah, truth. Uh, we talked about a bunch of goals at the uh, end of the last stream that we did of 2018. And then... Uh, I've been silent for a while and 2019 got underway and I just want to show you guys uh, I'm hustling here is uh, the layouts that I put together for that uh, Twitter four pager that we wrote on stream if you guys want to look up that stream you can um, I've I realized while doing the layouts that I was like oh like some of these shots together like don't really work like if you ever want to write anything, um, my suggestion to you is to do this, to, to do this. Write your script and then see how it works together. Like, see how the shots work together. See how, like, I even think this this might need another quick panel on the first page now that I'm looking at it. But, like, it's tough to, like, I don't know, totally understand how everything flows and how everything looks on the page um, until you like start putting it down on the page. I that script needs a heavy rewrite, but like I realized when I started drawing it that I was like, oh, we're just gonna rewrite this thing on the fly. Like I I just I feel like no matter what rewrite I do in Word, it's gonna get changed by the time we get to the final product anyway. So uh, I don't know. At any rate, I'm looking forward to printing out the, this first page or one of these pages, and uh, I got it. I got a huge, large format printer. Um, I'm very excited about it. I'm gonna print it on 11 by 17 Bristol. Uh, we're gonna be hitting the drafting table and uh, doing doing some of this. So I just wanted to give you guys a heads up on the progress. Um, this is our Jim Lee Robert Wilson the Fourth 2018 piece. Um, this was a cover to uh, Wizard 180. Uh, we're going to color it up. If you guys want to color it up, by the way, before we even get into it, if you guys want to color it, uh, I'm going to make the flats available to you. If you're watching this on YouTube, flats should be available uh, in the description. Um, the flats don't look like this. They, I like kind of like randomized it because I want, I want you guys to make conscious color choices. Um, I want you guys thinking about this stuff. So yeah, the stuff, the, the flats that you have are not necessarily look like this, but they are formatted like this. So let's talk about that. We're in this thing. I formatted for channels. So if you go here, you see CMYK in the corner here under channels. This is, this is formatted CMYK. If you're like, oh, I don't want to work CMYK. I'm going to click it over to RGB. Guess what? We just annihilated the flats. Like. We cannot, we cannot remove the flats from the art now. Everything, everything is broken. We goofed it. Redownload the file, or move back in the in the hist. I don't know. Do do what you need to do. Um, so yeah, you want to you want to turn the black channel off, and then uh, click the little eyeball here, and you will be uh, coloring underneath the the black channel. Um, you do that by of course by holding shift clicking the black channel and then clicking the little eyeball after you let go of shift of course let's run through that again uh hold down shift click the black channel let go of shift click the little eyeball you're good to go boom 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 um i don't know if we're gonna necessarily work in channels i'm a big advocate of it but lately i've been working more layered stuff uh i don't know if this necessarily needs to be worked in layers but there's a couple of things that i've been doing in layers that uh at the very end of my process that uh we've i've been like enjoying so we're gonna we're gonna actually set this up hey thank you for the follow uh caffy caffy bone 815 i look man 
we're this is a visual medium and we're we're all here's the thing here's the thing we're all barely literate like just barely um we uh so let's uh let's drop the drop the liner into into a black into a black layer um we can clear the black channel out right now now we're good to go um so that was really quick what i did there was really quick but what it, what i did was and if we if we turn this off you can see the flats here now we'll back that up and i'll show i'll show it to you again a little more slowly uh so here's our cmyk here's our raw file layers flat layer cmyk click the black channel select all copy go to a new layer fill it with black this is this is my own my own special mix mix this in the studio myself 60 60 40 100 got a can of it in the back uh you want to click the little this little button right here for the mask alt click for the mask paste the line art in invert it you want to think about it like a like a negative to like a film um once you do that anything that is uh white in here this this white is going to come through as as whatever color you have set up on this uh on this background so like if we did if we did red boom all the line art's red now if we did i you know whatever like but we did this special homebrew mix of uh uh 60 60 40 100 that i have in the back i you know i don't know if you guys know this but i print all of the comics that i work on here in the studio um and i distribute them uh to dc and and then they in turn distribute them to your local shop um so all the colorists i know are very involved in the printing process like that at any rate uh Hey, whatever happened with your interns? They get any pro gigs? Uh, Craig's still toiling away. This is the thing: is that my interns, they're they're, I've lost a few of them, a few of them. Okay, full disclosure with my interns, a few of them turned out to be dogs stacked up in a trench coat, and it took an embarrassing amount of time for me to understand that that is what was happening. Um, how are we gonna jump into this? Oh, first we gotta we gotta clear out that clear out that black channel. So now we have just the raw flats, just the color. Just give me the flats. Um, I don't know if we're gonna go with this pink background. Let's make it white for now. Um, and then let's just select our characters. Now, so obviously most of those dogs got professional gigs. Um, as we all know coloring is very very easy which is why everybody does it uh so yeah uh but right now it's just craig uh he's i'm not sure what he does here and quite frankly he keeps telling me that if i don't notice then he's doing his job right and i just i still don't notice i don't i don't know it's very suspicious it's basically when we're not mixing paint, it's just suspicion all day long. Um, so we want to figure out what we want to do for the light source on this. Uh, it looks like it's top lit. Um, 86 him. <laughs> uh, it looks like this thing is like lit from the top, kind of. There's like heavy shadow here with like all the ar many arms and guns in front of him. So, uh, we're going to roll with that, I guess. Here's the, here's the thing about, here's the thing about superhero comics. Um, they kind of look like they have a light source. Kind of. You can kind of do whatever you want. As long as like it, it looks like it's right, then it's right. Um, so we're going to, we're going to roll with kind of a top light source, but we're going to, we're going to play it by ear. We're going to shuck and jive. If we're, if we're changing light source on the fly, McComaker, thank you for the host, bud. Um, um, I'm excited to read Rovers, by the way. Our, our very own, our very own uh, Joel Bartlett is coloring that. McComaker is drawing that and writing it. I'm actually not sure. 
I'm not sure who's writing that. Um, at any rate, we gotta we gotta figure this out. So let's. Uh, and it looks amazing. Yes, I'm very excited about it. Uh, by the way, by the way, speaking of comics, real quick. Okay, before we, I know I was, I said we were gonna jump into this, but like, look at this thing. My sister sent me this thing, and you and you guys now have to look at it because it's awesome. Uh, 20, 12th Street Comics, the holiday issue. My sister sent this to me. I, it's just, it's just gold. It's just, look at this. Look at this. Pork Wars and the masked thing. Like, I, there's a, there's a comic in here about a, uh, let me see if I can find it. This is this is made by kids locally in uh, uh, Beacon, New York. Um, this is this is a comic about uh, Trevor. He's a turkey vulture and he's vegan. Um, I have never laughed so much at a comic book before. Like I think that like this this is on par with. Uh, 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 Starks's like sex castle and like uh, uh, God, like all the other books he does, he's hilarious. He's a great writer. Um, yeah, so so funny. There's a comic in here about a character that has a taco hat, and then she takes it off because like somebody's like take off that hat, and then she's got another taco hat underneath, and then and then the person's like another taco hat, and then. She takes that hat off, and then it's an actual taco underneath. And, oh my god. Like, thinking about it right now, I got a little tears in my eyes. <laughs> so, my advice to you out there is, like, just make comics. Just make what you want to make. Like, don't let, uh... Like, everybody figures out quality and pacing. And, like, the, the comic that I was just talking about where she's taking off the hat and then there's an actual taco underneath her taco hat, which is brilliant, by the way. Um, it it read top to bottom with another comic that was right next to it, top to bottom. So I had to, like, figure out, like, I was reading it left to right, and I, then I realized, oh, she, like, the person who, d who did this. I don't know why I said she. Uh, I don't know who, who... There's multiple credits in the in the comic book. But, uh, yeah, it... it was just so funny and like uh you know they're fig you can tell that they're figuring out like okay how do i get this to read right you know they're you can tell that like even though they're kids they're like thinking about this stuff um so what i gotta say to you guys is like they're piecing it together in real time as as a kid and they are cracking me up and like i really enjoyed that comic so what i'm saying to you is that you should make your comic that you're thinking of right now you should just you should just go just go even if it's just like crudely drawn as long as it's fun as long as you're having a good time doing it as long as you're not like like that that kind of stuff shines through in uh in comics like if i can tell you're having a good time doing what you do like that'll go that'll go pretty far like i read I read that comic and wanted more and I can't say that for uh like all of the professional great comics that uh that come out you know <laughs> like like a lot of comics I read from like especially and I mean superhero stuff isn't really my alley like I like weirder stuff clearly clearly um but yeah I I felt like uh, it was just so good. Like, I feel like I've, I've read so many kind of mundane superhero stories that are just kind of like, it's okay, you know, that I could take or leave from like very, very like incredible artists. Um, and this one, I was like, give me more. I want, give me, give me further. I need deeper lore on the taco hat. 
don't know what that says about me as a creator. <laughs> uh i don't know but anyway i'm very excited about that we might actually take a page out of that comic and color it on stream because um i do want to talk about like the value of a colorist and why a colorist matters uh and how a colorist can elevate kind of like a good colorist can elevate any situation um and it does not matter like We've done we've done similar things on on stream before where we took like um, Mike Oming had a finished or, or a sketch of a, of a woman in a skirt and we kind of were like all right let's make this into like a finished product um, which a good colorist can do so yeah I uh, I'm into it I mean thank you uh my sister for for uh sending that sending that comic in. Um I think she bought it cuz it cracked her up too. <laughs> uh Man, I just want to like I kind of want to just cancel this what we're doing right now and read that comic <laughs> to you cuz it's so good. Anyway, Anyway, let's get let's get into this. So we're we're working on the folds and everything. So superhero stuff, uh, it's got to be very very like well rendered. Um, and I'm thinking top down, but I'm also trying to like she she's like kind of squishing her face. I'm I'm cutting out all the highlights. By the way, this might be kind of tough to uh, wrap your mind around while I'm working on it. Um, hey, happy new year, Travis. Uh, this might be kind of tough to understand while I'm working on it, but it's going to lead to a very dramatic reveal in moments. Um, you missed, you missed my rant on, uh, <laughs> on, uh, making good comics and, uh, a, a comic that, uh, children made that I, that I loved. <laughs> uh, but yeah, we, uh, by the way, speaking of, uh, stuff that we love uh i want to get back to battle chef brigade i wanted to do that this past weekend but it just like i just ran out of time time is the thing uh so you know we're gonna be doing that we're gonna be doing that in the future i want to actually finish a game on stream i don't know have we ever finished a game on stream 2019 we're gonna finish a game on stream um I actually, I have a, a bunch of themed game nights, uh, weekend stuff that I want to do on stream. There's a, one of them is, uh, I have a, I have like 20 or so PS2 games that are, uh, trash <laughs> for lack of a better term, um, they're just they're just like games that were either on hidden gem lists or games that uh, I like basically never saw in the wild except for like one time and it was like two dollars and I was like, well, this has got to be worth two dollars, right? Like like there's some weird games. There's one that's uh, I don't want to I don't want to spoil anything for you because like when we dive into it, it's gonna get it's gonna get real weird. <laughs> But uh, yeah, we're gonna do we're gonna do like a month of uh, trying out some PS2 trash games. We're gonna do we're gonna do a month of your DJ's favorite DJ. He's making a he's making a comeback. He's making an appearance. Um, play some drop mix because I got I got some new cards in in 2019. 2019 people are still playing drop mix. Maybe I'm still playing drop mix against against nobody against myself on stream for you guys i guess <sighs> all right we're, we're figuring out these goggles remember we're lit from above so like there's gonna be like a, a lot of bounce light and stuff especially with metal uh so we're gonna we're gonna explore that when we get to it right now we're just like this is kind of just we're roughing in like where I think the shadows are like thereabouts. Um, a lot of this is just like 
it doesn't have to be perfect. It just has to be there so that like when we start to work on like, you know, uh, Grifter's mask, Grifter, that sounds wrong, but I think that's right. Grifter. I want to call him Griffin, but he's not, he's not Peter Griffin. That'd be a wildly different book. Um, when we start to work on the work on the mask, then like we have kind of like a baseline to go with, uh, same thing with like basically everything else in, in here. And there's a lot of detail, so we're gonna we're gonna try to move right along. Um, this is the thing. This is the thing with uh, superhero books, by the way, is that it's a lot of detail and like it takes a long time to like I don't know like render out everything. Um, my advice to you, if you are if you are struggling with uh, rendering every little object on on a book that you are working on or a, a pinup that you're that you're doing that is super detailed is to uh do a pass like this hey j j sharf sharf scarf thank you for the follow i see you i appreciate you welcome um uh Nightwing 56 is out today. It is awesome. <laughs> I man. So we can talk about Nightwing real quick, by the way. Uh, Nightwing uh, took a turn for me. Like I, I think I've talked about this on stream where like I was trying to get the best kind of like print quality I could. Uh, what did you miss? Start over. All right. All right. We're going to start over. Ziggy just arrived. So fake McCoy's here and he requested we start over. So if you guys, if you guys uh, are upset about that, we can just, you can just mail your letters to anywhere in New Jersey and he will receive them. He filters all the mail of New Jersey. So just, just write an angry letter to anywhere in New Jersey and he'll find it. It'll make its way to him. Uh, no, well, so I feel like I've gotten to a, like a really good place. So let me back up, let me back up a little, um, a while ago, uh, in our, in the discord, which y'all should join the discord. I posted the flats for this in the discord early people in the discord got it early. You could have got it early. Join the discord. Um, somebody had asked, uh, uh, Charlie actually had asked that like, you know, I have a pretty long career. It's like 15 years right now. Um, is there something, is there, are there books that he should look for of mine from like early in my career that, uh, like, what are the highlights? Basically, he was like, I want to read some of your stuff, but I don't want to read like stuff that maybe you're not necessarily proud of or stuff that like, you know, like there's as a colorist, there's so much to sift through. Because you're like the New Jersey version of Santa Claus. Uh, there's so much to, to like shift through that like he was like, I don't know where to start. Um, and to be fair, there's a lot in there that's like, hey, I did like um, Joseph Michael Linsner did a book called Claws with Wolverine and Black Cat. I did... Uh, I help the colorist out on that um, just about every month, but I would do like eight pages in a 20 page book every month. So it was like half mine. That's not really something that I'm like, you got to get this if you want Nick Filardi's work. You know what I mean? Like, it's just kind of like there. So like, obviously, and I mean, if you guys love that book, you know, I don't mean to, I don't mean to crap on it, but I'm just saying it's not a good example of like stuff that I'm, I've worked on um, cause not only that, not only because like it's, you know, partially me, but also because like I was late to the game on that book and I'm kind of like helping the other colorist out. And uh, so I'm, tr I'm trying to model my stuff off his stuff. Um, yeah. Uh, the book was a long time ago too. I don't know why I thought of that book, but at any rate, so I started listing all these things, all these books that, uh, 
and they're all pinned in the comic book halls uh discord if you guys are interested and i broke them down into five-year categories so i'm like hey this stuff's early it's a little hard to find uh but this is the stuff that i like from this time period also it's a very early nick filardi so you know can we can we just be cool about that <laughs> maybe it's maybe it's not my best work uh because it is my first work uh by the way by the way i'm learning that through uh doing those layouts that i showed you earlier first work you got you got to get you got to get those pages out <laughs> I'm like, I'm excited to that I'm doing that first work, uh, uh, little, little four pager because like, there's a bunch of stuff that I'm learning in that four pager that I would not have learned otherwise. You can, here's the thing. You can be super fucking knowledgeable, like real knowledgeable on a subject. I am pretty knowledgeable when it comes to coloring comics and comics in general. Until you, like, make the thing, until you, like, execute an idea, there's a million little things that you, like, choices and decisions that you don't know about yet. You just don't know. You don't know what you don't know. And uh, no amount of, like, I feel like sometimes um, creators will, or people who want to be creators um will be like well i have to read up on all of this stuff to understand it fully before i jump in and it's like nah dog just jump in <laughs> you just gotta start you just you just go and you'll figure it out along the way and like the truth is too a lot of that stuff that you're that you're learning about um trying to like fully immerse yourself in in becoming an expert before you start um is stuff that you won't even be able to understand until you are in it. You know, uh, you will get, it'll go both ways. Like you'll get a deeper understanding for the people talking about how to execute on the thing because you will have executed on the thing. Like it'll, it'll work in both directions. Um, at any rate, Nightwing. So I put Nightwing on the list. And I'm very proud of Nightwing. Travis uh, Travis G. Moore also works on Nightwing. Uh, very, very uh, uh, skilled draftsman himself. Uh, so I'm very excited about Nightwing. I put it on the list, but it's like, it's a weird thing because it's like, well, you know, uh, Tamara's the other colorist, so it's like not even all me and... Um, it's, uh, uh, Rick Grayson, not Dick Grayson. Um, so, and like some fans are very excited about it and some fans are not excited about it. And, uh, basically, sorry, I'm, I'm thinking about the folds in this, in these, in these pants. Are these pants? Is this all one thing? How does she even dress herself? <laughs> Where is the practicality of this? Uh, anyway. So it's like, it's like, do I think that you should pick up Nightwing? I don't know. Like if you like Nightwing and you're a fan of superhero stuff, I absolutely think you should. I think Nightwing on the sly is changing how I'm thinking about art in general. Uh, <laughs> uh, you're not doing your job right. If you're not getting Rick, Rick Grayson related death threats. Oh my God. No, please. No. Um, I did have, for the first time ever. By the way, by the way, I think that once Rick, the whole Rick Grayson thing is over, I think people will look back and be like, hey, that was pretty cool. Because I fe it feels like uh, Night's End, Night's Watch, uh, as real as Batman kind of thing. Like it, it feels like a, like a weird, like interesting story that's just like a little bit different than maybe people necessarily want. That's just my opinion. And I'm a fan of uh, Asriel and, and Batman and, and all that too. So, uh, but I can understand, but I wasn't reading comics back then. So I can understand if you were reading comics and you're like, I just want Batman back. Like, and it's excruciating month after month. You wait and wait for Batman to come back and he doesn't come back. Um, I can understand that. But like, 
I think that it'll it'll play better in trade paperbacks just in general um, and in uh, back issue bins than it will as you wait month to month to month. Um, that said, I did have, for the first time ever at a convention, somebody came up to me and was like, uh, hey, I'm a big fan of Nightwing. This happened to me a couple of times at the same convention. Um, I'm, a bit, I'm a real big fan of Nightwing. I love what you're doing on there. I'm very worried. <laughs> this is like right before Night- Rick Grayson stuff came out. Your favorite Dick Grayson stuff was uh, 2003-ish when he was... Uh... Oh, no. Yeah. Yeah, that might be problematic. <laughs> oh, no. Um, in this day and age, I don't know if you could do that kind of story where Dick Grayson is just is just nonstop flirting with all the birds of prey. I, I uh, PG 13 up your, your comment cross contour. Um, this is a belt buckle, by the way, I knew that originally. I knew that you guys didn't have to point that out to me. It's something that I knew. Um, so anyway, my point is, my point is, is that, uh, Nightwing is on there for a reason. Um, everything else on there was something that was like, here's a self-contained thing that you could just read and be done, get your experience. That's it. Nightwing's kind of a different beast because it's a monthly and I'm doing half of it. And, uh, it's also in the context of larger DCU. And like, if you like those kinds of things, I can understand you want to get in there. But the reason that I brought it up was because it's low key changing how i'm thinking about comics in general something that i've always struggled with was getting stuff in print to look right and i think that my brain skews darker than everything else uh or everyone else that's that's uh competitive in my field or maybe it doesn't and they figured this out before i did but like i'll I'll show to you uh when we get to the end of this but I, f- I feel like in order to get it uh, looking right. Thank you, Travis. Uh, Travis says, Tamara and I have been uh, killing on it, Kill- killing Nightwing. Um, we're gonna add the we're gonna add the shadows here. So at any rate, the um, overseas like the overseeing from editorial has pushed me a little out of my comfort zone. I think for the better. And this is why, yo, this is why this is a larger conversation, but I have heard of people who are like, uh, colorists who are like, no notes. We did it right in one. If you are a person who is like, no notes, seriously reconsider your position because like there, like just by making a thing, uh, voodoo's face looks weird. I just glanced at it. Don't look at it yet. No one look at it. (laughs) Uh, if you are making a thing, you are emotionally invested in that thing. You can't see the faults within it. Take the notes for God's sakes. Um, have I see, had a chance to see the Titans series? Not yet. Not yet. I want to. Um, but man, there's only so much time of the day. I'm, I've like fallen. I've started like going down the YouTube rabbit hole. By the way, we're going to back this up. So Here's all the selections that I made just now. Um, we're going to put down uh, shadows, which I just used like a gray. 70% multiply. Done. Um, so like this is this is kind of what the shadows look like for now. But we want to we want to put like a unifying palette over this whole thing because right now it's like yellow with a capital Y. I had to think for a second. <laughs> Red with a capital R. Uh, it's like kind of all over the place. So we're going to select inverse, excuse me. And, uh, we're going to, we're going to come play with me, play in this space with me. Here's, here's a lot of, here's a lot of cyan. We're going to tone it down 35%. This looks all right. We're, We're getting there. So what's happening here? I don't know. I just work here. No, what's happening here is, is. Uh, so the shadows with that gray are picking up some of the color from the, from the, uh, actual primary color, the like 
you know, the color that's, that's, uh, uh, not environmental. Um, and then we're going, we're going on the lighter side, uh, under the light side and we're, we're putting a blue in, or we can put whatever this color is a greenish, like we can kind of like mess with this in any kind of capacity, whatever, put a little Southern twang on that <laughs> capacity, uh, Whew. Been, been in the South for a while. Um, you can kind of like do whatever you want to do. Um, nice face, Voodoo. No, don't look. We're going to fix that. Uh, you've been wanting to watch the Titans, but uh, been a constant deadline. Yeah, same. Like, there's a lot of stuff. Man, I really... I started watching... Um, Here's like a little bit more pink. Maybe this is maybe this is loving. Do they have a relationship in the comics, Voodoo and Grifter? Um, I actually don't know. Like, is this a loving embrace or is this like we're teammates kind of thing? <laughs> That's what I do to all my teammates, by the way. <laughs> we're teammates. <laughs> Titans was surprisingly good. Oh, I'm excited. Uh. I started watching a bunch of YouTube stuff and I got, I got kind of like lost, lost in doing YouTube stuff. Uh, and then I got behind on YouTube stuff and now I'm just behind on everything. I started listening to podcasts like an idiot. <laughs> uh, so like, here's like an orange ish color. We, we cranked up the opacity a little bit, uh, a little bit bigger. Ooh. Ooh, are we starting to, are we starting to get into that hotness? I think we are, dear reader. And I know you're not readers, you're viewers. Um, I think maybe we're starting to get into that hotness. Okay. So, so let's talk about like what things are looking like right now. Um, here's another thing we can do. We can, we can, uh, take this red and instead of it being like a solid red, like we can run a grad of yellow through it like that. Now we're, oh, now we're cooking with gas. Whoo, is it getting hotter in here? Huh? <laughs> this stream. I don't know why you guys come here. Uh, anyway. <laughs> like, okay. Okay. Hear me out. Hold on. I gotta do some, I gotta do some searching. Hold, hold on. You guys are on stream. You guys are running the stream right now while I'm Googling for something. We're gonna we're gonna uh, photo kit. We're gonna photo bash a, a photo kit, or I don't know what do they call it when you like use a photo for a background. Photo bashing, photo kitting, something like that. Um, I don't know if this is a I don't know if this is a joke or a real thing yet, but I'm gonna reveal it to you in a moment once I find the once I find what I'm looking for. Putz, putz, putz. I trusted you, fake McCoy. Uh, okay, once I once I place this in here. Okay. Okay, I don't think the lighting goes yet, so we're going to turn the lighting off, but... Huh? Is this a thing? Are we exploring this idea? <laughs> oh. No one should let me have Photoshop. <laughs> I don't think this is a real thing. I, I thought for a minute it might be. I did like a, uh, we've gone there. Yep. <laughs> you support this. 
because it's like it's such a weird staged photo and i get it. it's like supposed okay so like here's the mentality we have to be in this is a magazine cover so it's like jim is obviously drawing this with the idea of like it's like you know with the beauty covers let me let me uh boot up a, a couple of beauty covers um it's like you know if you were gonna put uh If you were going to put, <laughs> that's it. Can we start from the beginning? You just got back. Uh, if you were going to put like, you know, Grifter and Voodoo on top of like on a magazine cover, like this is, this is something that like you would want it to look like, by the way, there's some variants in here that, did, that hit the cutting room floor. Like, I really love this cover. I started using masks in a, in a smart way. Uh, but this is the original. Uh, made it all about those shoes. Uh, but Jeremy was like, scale it back a little. Uh, but like, you know, like this is, these are, these are covers from the beauty. Uh, by the way, Jeremy Hans, the uh, artist on all of this stuff. You should go follow him. Except for this one. This one's Andy McDonald. We did that one on stream. Um, but it's like, here's a magazine cover. It's like fashion-y, you know, kind of thing. And like, I think that's what Jim Lee's doing. And maybe just maybe dear viewer and i know you're not viewers you're readers uh we are undercutting this like sophistication that he is trying to show off by making grifter and voodoo uh show up on school picture day <laughs> perhaps perhaps we've goofed it perhaps we've gone too far down the rabbit hole so let's just let's just get rid of that <laughs> Uh, I, this is kind of like a Miami Vice look. I kind of like this, by the way, this, this yellow pink, uh, thing going on here. We're going to, we're going to roll with this. Um, so, uh, there's some things that are not working so hot. Uh, reminds me of those nineties hollow foil cards. Oh man. Oh man. Yes. Yes. If like, look, I just, if if we could just get uh if i could just get my work in hollow for hollow foil format that would be uh that'd be fantastic please comics please um we're gonna work on a new layer on top of everything else so that it, it actually we actually make actual change um hey fake mccoy welcome back to high society for the full year my man um, here's all the blue. Uh, we are going to, I'm kind of like working on multiple layers. I'm warming it up. So when we, when we add like a blue gray multiplied down onto like a yellow, it's going to turn into this muddy kind of green. Um, I don't know if you guys can necessarily see it as green. Um, but within the context, it's like edging towards the green side away from the yellow side. So we're just going to try to like warm it up a little. Uh, maybe add a little orange. Um, maybe that's uh, not dark enough. Dark maroon. Yeah, something like that. We're going to lighten it up here, darken it down here, because we want to pull focus as well. Um, what else we got going on here? Skin tone's looking a little weird. Uh, don't look at Voodoo's face. I, I saw you look at it. Don't. Don't. We're going to we're gonna soften it out, smooth it out. Uh what else is looking weird? These, like, I I left these green. I don't know if, like, Grifter's supposed to actually have, like, green gauntlets. Is that, a, is that a thing? What if we, like, what if we just made them kind of whitish? But they would pick up a lot of the ambient light if they were white. So let's make them kind of yellowish. That did not work to my advantage. Kind of yellowish. Um, what else do we, what else do we want to do? So like, uh, I can't believe you've been watching this <laughs> for a year. Yeah. Not his normal costume. Probably can pick whatever you want. Yeah. Uh, we're gonna, um, I can't believe we've been like this stream, like a, like a man who is, has fallen but has not quite fallen over yet and is just stumbling and picking up speed 
that that perfectly describes this stream. I feel like we've been doing we've been half falling down for like a year now. Uh, we're gonna take all of it, all of this, uh, and we are going to uh, just drop the saturation a little bit. Um, we're gonna we're gonna fix all that stuff uh, later on. So I just did an adjustment layer there. Um, this is what I'm talking about with like layer stuff that I've been doing a lot lately. Um, just like little tweaks, and I normally do that stuff like right on the image, but. If I, the advantage is, is that like this overlay of like what this color scheme, like I wouldn't have arrived at like, oh, we just select everything and just do a, a grad that's like half one color, half another. Like I wouldn't have gotten to that place if I wasn't working in layers, if I didn't have the, the options of like tweaking everything. Um, <laughs> make her a scroll. Uh, Grifter never made it as big. I mean, Grifter was pretty big, right? I I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. Uh, we're gonna start uh dragging th some like. See now, this is this is when. Maybe we should just flatten from here. Who I'm very tempted. Let's. Uh, duplicate just in case I need that we're gonna flatten it from here so I'm so used so used to working on one layer that like doing stuff like running uh, a grad through uh, like so these are the gauntlets I wanted to run a grad through this uh, of a screen of a particular color and um, that doesn't work so hot with uh, with layers. Like you got to set up a layer for screens, and then you start going down this rabbit hole of like, well, I need a layer for screens, I need a layer for multiply, I need a layer for color burn, I need fucking all this all this stuff, and then you're down this rabbit hole of like, well, now I'm a guy with 300 layers, and I have no idea what's happening in my image, and there's a there's a white dot on here, and I've spent 45 minutes trying to get rid of this white dot, and why won't it just go away? Now I have to make a new layer for the white dot, and you know you don't want to end up there. I'm. I'm not speaking from experience at all, at all. Um, I'm just kind of adding in some uh, gradients of color, trying to like uh, flesh out the light source a little bit. <laughs> uh, I'm, what I'm doing is not panicking. That's That's not what I'm doing. Um, so there's also kind of like this bounce light that's going on in this, in this image. Like we have kind of like a, like a rimmed light around voodoo. Uh, there's like bounce light that's happening in here and in here. That's like kind of central to what's happening with, uh, uh, voodoo and guy she's holding. Um, shit. Grif Gryffindor. Shit. What's the fuck? I told myself in 2019 I wasn't going to be swearing on stream. <laughs> that has gone way off the window. We're at like 15 counter for the for the cussing on stream. Guys, I don't think I can stop. <laughs> I think you just have to. I was like, okay, here's the thing. Get the swear jar out. Yeah. Here's the thing. I told myself I was like, let's color this. Uh, this. Let's color a page of this. These are children. I want them to be able to be like, hey, a professional colored colored our comic. Like, I'm going to tune into that stream. I'm a child tuning into that. And here I am, just the mouth of a sailor corrupting the youth. That's not where I wanted to be, but it's where I am. Huh. So, yeah, we gotta get the we gotta get the swerger out. Anyway, there's a lot of bounce light happening, so we're gonna we're gonna address that. Um, they have been, 
They've been launched many years ago, and I can't I can't put them back in the tube. That's the problem. We can't put the toothpaste back in the tube. Oh, so Nightwing. Like, we should probably finish our complete thought on Nightwing. Um, so while Nightwing is, like, this DC thing, and it's in continuity, and it might not be for you, um, I'm getting these notes from uh, editorial that are like, you know, we want... Uh, Nightwing to be less of a like broody book and more like a superhero -y book like you really got to bling it out and so you know I want to keep my job I don't think that's too ridiculous um so I'm like okay all right let's figure this out let's figure out how to uh bling out this the Nightwing so I know that DC editorial is like looking at um not only are they looking at the digitals, but they're also looking at the print stuff that comes out because it, you know, gets shipped to the office and everybody's uh, checking it out. So I wanted to make sure that like the print stuff looked as good as the regular stuff, um, as the dig digital stuff that I was sending in. Because a lot of times I was finding like, to me, it looked nice and bright, and then I would pass it over and it would not look nice and bright anymore. And I was like, I don't know what happened. That's by the way. The Cintiq's coming down. We're getting into more painterly stuff. We've we've gone very, very general. And, like, a lot of you out there, depending on, like, depending on, like, your, I don't know, style, what type of book it is, you know, any of that stuff, you might be done here. Like, you know, this, when I was starting out, like, getting to this point, took a long time uh so you know and time is a factor time is a factor with everything uh we were talking in the discord join the discord um about a uh heroes in crisis page that i'm like that people are upset about and i'm like this feels like um a sleepwalked page heroes in crisis by the way very beautiful book don't get me wrong i you know like i can't i'm reading it it's beautiful the colorist on there is fucking fantastic uh you should all check it out you should all pick it up but there are pages that happen when you work on something with a deadline where it's like okay i have 28 things i need to tweak I'm going to order them from most important to least important and I'm going to triage them. Uh, and like, sometimes you don't get to like that least important thing. And that's what that page felt like when writers write scripts, which is something that I'm, I'm learning now that I'm like uh, not only scripting, but also drawing uh, they will often be like, okay, like we want one big set piece per 20 pages. So that way, in those in those 20 pages um the artist can really focus on one thing and then has a couple of pages that they can kind of sleepwalk through um because or like you know do very very quickly uh that's a thing that happens within superhero comics um especially because like you gotta you gotta meet those deadlines man anyway i felt like that that page was a symptom of that uh Anyway, I don't know where, where we were going with this. Deadlines are tough and time is tough. Oh, and you might you might call it a day after this. Yeah, like the thing about superhero comics is like they are also very uh, hyper detailed. Uh, and so You may get to the end of it and be like, I don't know how anybody does this on a regular basis. Um, you, If you are working on this at home and you're like, how is Nick moving so fast? I was not always moving so fast. In fact, a lot of times I was probably as slow or slower than you. Um, but the thing is, is like you, this is 15 years of comics. This is like, I just like, you know, 
find out what worked through trial and error. And you're going through the trial and error and you're, you're figuring it out too. What works for you? Um, so yeah, just hang in there. That's all I got to say. Uh, at any rate, let's, let's, let's finish our thought about Nightwing. So I'm getting these notes back and they're like, Hey, uh, bling it out. It's a superhero book, less of a broody book. Like, cause what I was doing was in my mind, I was like, Dick Grayson shot in the head. Uh, he's, he's Rick Grayson. Now he's living in Bloodhaven, which is a shithole. Um, I was like, it's like mini Gotham, you know? So I was like, let's do this like ridiculously like bleak, like red, uh, night, like carved out of black paper, Batman, the animated series version of Bloodhaven. Um, Rick Grayson. It's just, sorry. It's just funny. Uh, it's, it's not funny when he, when he hits you with whatever he's punching with. Um, Rick Grayson's crazy, man, by the way, Rick Grayson. Whew, he's, he's a loose cannon. If he was on the force, he'd be off the force. Uh, at any rate. So they're like, no, 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 go in a more superhero direction. So I was like, okay. So I'm like trying to, trying to figure out like how to get the best like print version of Rick Grayson that I can get. Um, and it's pushed me into a place where like between that and Umbrella Academy, honestly, when I first started working on Umbrella Academy, um, I was saying to myself, like the notes that I got back from the first round when, when I was like trying out for the gig was like, Hey, everything's just like a little bit dark. And like, I've kind of gotten that note my whole career. Um, I think that's just like kind of where my mind sits is like just a little bit dark. Cause I think because like I was never trying to be a colorist. I was always like when I was drawing, I was, I was putting out a lot of spot blacks when I was, uh, uh, you know, I like Mark making more than light and, sh- and, and I like shadow more than I like, uh, light basically. Um, so I was like, okay, um, I've been getting this note a lot. I really want like Nightwing to shine. I really want to be hired by DC like over and over and over again, not just like one and done. Let's like take this note to heart and like really figure it out. Like how do I hack my own brain in order to like make something work, you know, um, in order to make this job exactly what they want. Uh, Grifter's mask is starting to get out of the red and into the orange a little bit, but it might be okay. I don't know. We got to do all the tech stuff too. Uh, we're going to keep the kind of like bluish greenish stuff going on in, in voodoo's hair. I kind of like it. It's a, uh, it's a little wild. It's a little funky. I'm going to add a little, little highlights in. So uh, here's one of the things that like I was talking about how you got to hit deadlines and you got to, you got to move quick. Um, so like, Voodoo's hair is important, but it's not super important. Like there's a lot of real estate in here for, uh, uh, Gryffindor's hair and, um, God, what is Grifter? Like every time it takes me an additional second to think of his name. Um, tough when that with that artist, cause he shadows everything. Yeah. I mean, Chris does a great job. Like I'm not knocking his stuff at all. Like, The thing was, is like, he was shadowing everything. I was running with that. And then I was putting more shadow down and DC was like, no, go to the other direction. And like editorial just saw it in a way that I didn't, um, that I, it's not that it's just like, I don't know if there's one that's right or one that's wrong or whatever, but like, uh, they just were like, Hey, you know, instead of doing it this way, do it this way. 
And I think it was the right call, to be honest. I know I just said no one was right, no one was wrong, but I think it was the right call. Did you just call him Gryffindor? Yeah. <laughs> um. So, like, his hair has a lot of open real estate, so it needs to be rendered. Um, because, uh, you know, there's a lot of open real estate there. Uh, meaning, like, not a lot of, like, spot blacks. So, Voodoo has a lot of spot blacks in her hair. So, we can get, like, really technical with, like, everything that's going on in the hair and, like, paint it like we painted, uh... God, is it totally gone now? Did that brain cell just die live on stream? Gr Griffin? Grifter. Damn it. I'm writing it down. I'm... There you go. Jim Lee's work deserves respect, and Grifter is a cool character that I really liked as a kid. I don't know why it, his, like, he's just, like, not clicking in my brain. Um, there we go. Now we, now we got it. Now we got it. Um, at any rate, yeah, so, like, you know, I started changing kind of my end process. Um, umbrella was the same note. What I was saying before is that like I was working on umbrella and they were like, Hey, this is a little bit dark. We just want more of the paper showing so that like, you know, uh, Boz, uh, you know, draftsmanship shows through. Like that's kind of the goal of umbrella or as far as the art goes is like showcasing Ba. Because Ba's really, really talented. Um, immensely talented. Uh, we've been grifted. <laughs> uh, so I started with Umbrella kind of taking that and been like, okay, I got to, I got to, scale it back how do i do that and i started using like a, a process of levels and saturation hue and saturation to kind of like scale back basically like how bright things were um by the way speaking of bright what's uh what's brighten up voodoo a little bit she's a she has a darker skin tone i think though so maybe we don't need to brighten it up that much I'm just kind of like, I don't know, painting it in. Maybe this isn't maybe this isn't the right brush or the right way to do this. It's starting to look weird. Um it's starting to look a little bit weird. I think hold on. I think the problem is just like all of the skin tone looks a little bit weird. Maybe we just walk it all back just a little bit. Yeah, I think we do. Shit, I don't know. Maybe a different walk back. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm figuring this out. I think her eyes being not white is also uh, kind of like working the working the palette around it. So yeah. Uh, so yeah, I, I started like kind of, I don't know, um, rethinking it and then retooling uh, what I was doing on Nightwing. And 
I think with Nightwing 53, the one that just came out, I feel like I've gotten it to a place where I'm like starting to be really happy with the print version in addition to the digital digital version. I cannot say the word digital. What is wrong with me on this stream? This is all off the rails. This is not going to YouTube. This is all unusable. If you watch this on YouTube, this is this is a pirated copy. I don't know what that means. Um I need to figure out this this skin tone. This whole thing is like all over the place. I just want to like kind of warm it up, I guess, or cool it down. Shit, man. I'm in a tailspin. Nobody look at this. <laughs> 56. Uh, 56 just came out? Yeah. Man, it's so... With it double shipping, it is so hard for me to keep track of, like, when things are coming out and how much how much is out already. Uh, that's the other that's the other thing about Nightwing. <laughs> All right, we kind of added a little. I think we're getting there. Because every time I'm, it used to be that I I'd be like, oh, I've done exactly this many issues. We're on this, and I started at this number. We're on this one, but now it's like oh, I've done this many issues, and I don't know. We're we're just moving right along. <laughs> but you know, we're gi we're giving everybody what they want, which is more Nightwing. My one regret with uh uh Rick Grayson. And I only have one regret, which is, uh, I feel like we're, we're not making them sexy enough. We're not, we're not doing that, that, uh, Nightwing, uh, sexy kind of stuff enough with Rick Grayson, but I don't know, maybe that'll change. I, my goal is to try to be around for, uh, the return of Dick Grayson. Um, I'm putting a lot of uh, time and focus into this area because like this is where we want the viewer. So um, if you guys are like, oh my God, just move up. The face is fine. Just move on. It's not fine. And I'm not going to move on yet. <laughs> I'm going to keep going. And we're going to get it, get it perfect. Um, kind of want like a deeper shadow like around like around the nose and under here maybe under the eyes a little bit not this red but like something like this um <laughs> you've been reading grace and he's shirtless through half of every issue maybe i'm just not getting the shirtless ones or maybe I'm just like, I've I've been working on Nightwing long enough that I'm like, shirtless again, whatever. When is it gonna get sexy? <laughs> I'm working on the sexy, and I'm I've 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 grown so used to it that I'm just like, immune. Maybe, maybe, I don't know. All I know is that is a a key component to the character. He needs to be sexy all the time. Um, editorial, mo more booty shots, yeah. I tried to do this one. The only thing that, okay, the only th pushback I've gotten um, it, from DC Editorial that I think was wrong was uh, there's one shot of in the, in the worm, uh, which is, by the way, Volume 7 just came out, Nightwing Volume 7. Uh, which is all the worm stuff, uh, which is like the techno uh, stuff, which is where I got started with Nightwing. Uh, ben Percy wrote it. It's real good. You should check it out. Uh, volume 7 is out now. Um, there's one moment where he's waking up in bed uh, with a girl, and I won't spoil that for you if you haven't, if you don't know, uh, if you haven't read it yet. And he's got these like, little uh booty shorts on uh uh boxer briefs uh and 
I made the I made the briefs in the style of his uh, disco suit um, from the seventies. And editorial was like, just just make them black, like they're very distracting. I was like, they might be very distracting. In retrospect, it was probably the right call, but like, man, I really wanted uh, uh, him picking out underwear according to his old suit, kind of like more. I wanted that to be canon. I wanted that to be canon so bad. Like, like Dick Grayson realizes that he has moved on from from his disco suit and that is not a normal suit anymore. However, like in his heart of hearts, he's still like. He's still like, oh man, love me some disco suit. Let me get, let me get them boxer briefs in that in that style. <laughs> what did I think of the new paper stock in the trades? I have not cracked the trade yet. Um, that work is like I was saying before. That work is a little bit old before I like kind of perfected everything. So I'm a little bit, uh, I don't know, I don't know how to describe it. It's not that I'm like not interested in checking out the the cards i also have nothing to compare it to like i've moved uh i moved to like all digital um steve as far as like what i'm reading so the only paper stock i have of dc that's the new paper stock for the trades is that that book i have nothing to compare it to um so I have no opinion, but I'm sure it's fine-ish. All of the paper stock that they've they've moved to is a little tougher for colors. Um, this is probably why they wanted me to lighten up uh, everything a little more because, uh, and we're gonna move on from from Voodoo's face in a second here. Um, I just I just want it to be totally perfect. Uh, a little bit of a little bit of blue under the nose for that bounce light. Maybe a little bit blue here. Maybe a little bit here. Yeah, now we're cooking. All right, let's do our like little headset thing. Does she have blue eyes. She has blue eyes, right? I think we'd like we totally rearrange that. So here's the here's the thing with superhero stuff. You want to get like all crazy environmental, you know, like whatever um, with all this like kind of crazy color. But at the end of the day, like Foodie's eyes have to be blue. I mean, maybe they're green. I can't remember. Um, but like the characters have to be re like recognizable as those characters. So, uh, but yeah, I don't know if you guys know this. Uh, I've been uh, Discord knows this because we, we talk about it all the time. I've been shifting to uh, digital. Like I only, I only actually have like, so I have those those Billy IKEA bookshelves, and I only have like maybe three of the shelves filled with uh, comics, and like I think half of one of those shelves are like comps from my own stuff, um, which is only maybe like two long boxes. So yeah, I've been like really cutting down on like uh the amount of like paper product i have in the house which is uh probably a really good thing because when i got that printer in the mail um i bought a giant printer and i did not realize it was going to be giant and then it came in the mail and it was giant this is a great story by the way i'm really really dazzling you guys um i came in it came in the mail it was very big and i was like it's so big and then uh I was like, where the heck am I going to put this thing? And I actually eliminated uh, one of the five bookshelves I had. I went, I did another pass through all the comics that I own um, and brought them to uh, second and Charles um, just to, just to like get rid of them. Um, a lot of stuff I've been uh, carrying around with me since I was in high school, sold some wildcat stuff actually. Uh, now that, now that I think about it, uh, just cause I was like, I do want to read this again, but I'm reading so many more comics in, um, I'm reading so many more comics, uh, digitally that like, that's kind of my preferred place to read comics now. 
Um, just because I can just throw an iPad in my uh, backpack and like, you know, go on a trip, go to a con, say I, the flight from Florida to Seattle for Emerald city comic con is like seven and a half hours. And like, you know, I, I just can't put like, I don't know, 10 trades in my backpack. It's just not, it's just not a thing. Plus, I don't know if you guys know this, all color looks better in, uh, in digital, all of it, all color. And I want to see what the colorists are doing. So yeah, we're just going to kind of doodle in these little, little shines and stuff into Voodoo's earrings, little details that maybe like Jim would put in there. Um, we got to put a little, little shines on them as well. We're going to make these things glow so they don't have to be perfect. Uh, we can actually kind of like, if they're going to be glowing, they're going to be lighting up this area in general. So we can kind of like tweak it a little bit. By the way, I really, I really, really love this piece because not only did uh, is Jim's voice clear through it, but so is Robert's. Like this looks like a, a Robert Wilson the Fourth inked piece, um, which is really neat. Uh, I think it's a I think it's a cool thing, and it's a different take on like Jim stuff in general too. Um, I'm putting a lot of white up here, by the way, because I want you here, not down here. Um, it's, it's, I'm trying to pull focus by putting very high highs, like basically stark white next to stark black, and then kind of like letting the rest of it, uh, kind of be in the middle. Um, let's work on this tech stuff. I really did not want to make this thing a two-parter, but we're at like four o'clock already or yeah, four o'clock, four 30 here. And I don't know if we're going to get to like do all this tech stuff, make this like justifiable. So, uh, long and short of all that, all that talk about ink levels and, uh, DC and Nightwing in general, like, Nightwing was kind of a catalyst to me, like really figuring out paper and also figuring out um, my own limitations that I have. Uh, and to, for me, like Nightwing is always going to be an important book because it's going to mark a change, a shift in the way that I'm coloring. Um, and as you work, if you guys are out there working on working on books, when you start, you kind of don't realize these things like you just kind of work on books and work on books and work on books. And then um, every once in a while, you'll work on a project where you'll get a note or you'll have an epiphany or like, you know, something happens where all of a sudden you're like, oh, and you like level up. And to me, like Nightwing over the past year has been that for sure. I've been working on it since April We've done like 11 issues, uh, 12 issues now, um, something like that. Like I said, hard to keep track. Uh, but yeah, I, I feel like Nightwing is, is super important to me as a creator, um, even if as a reader it's not necessarily uh, your jam. I completely understand that. But if you are in the, if you're in the comic shop and you want to see – what I'm talking about in like in the flesh, um, pick up the newest issue 56 and pick up like issue 50 or gosh, did I work on 49? I think I worked on 49, 49 or 48. If you pick up those two and you open, the, you put them down on like some uh, back issues or countertop or whatever. And you like, while you're in the shop, and you just open it up and you look at it, you will see exactly what I'm talking about when it comes to like, I'm actually looking at ink levels. I'm actually like trying to make the best product that I possibly can for you guys. And uh, hopefully this will be like a good shift going forward. Like before we, before we uh, call this uh, voodoo grifter thing, which by the way, 
I think we're going to have to do a two-parter because I'm like slowly losing my objectivity and uh, Voodoo's face just took longer than I thought it would. And uh, I know that I've lost my objectivity with her face and like I want to make sure that this thing uh, looks good in the end. Um, we're going to doodle a little bit more on the tech. We're, we're in the details. We're in the weeds right now. Um, perhaps, perhaps, dear, dear reader, and I know you're not readers, you're viewers. Um, it just took me a little, little longer to, uh, get back into the streaming thing, perhaps. Um, Nightwing's been outstanding. Thank you very much. Uh, thank you for the host, Samantha. Uh, yeah, I, uh. There's definitely definitely a shift and something that I've I've been doing more often, especially when I get to the end. When I get to the end of something, I'll I'll look at it and I'll be like, so if we're looking at this, I'm like, what's the darkest thing on this on this page right now? It's probably like this color right here. Oh, I just clicked something else. There it is, eighty five eighty five fifty one. We're at like two fifty. Like this is the ink limit practically. Which is like maybe too dark, you know? But like to me, digitally, it looks fine. It looks good on my screen. It's like this neon pink with this neon uh, blue. But this is the thing I was noticing. Like this neon blue that I was doing, that like in context looks very neon, but not really neon here, was printing grayer than, than normal. So I'm like, okay, how do I get it to be where I want it, you know? Um, Oh, thank you very much, Samantha. Uh, you tried live stream for the first time last month. It's not easy to talk and create at the same time. It is not easy. And you work a lot slower. Like, I think I'd be done with this by now, but we're going to probably push this till tomorrow. Um, I didn't know that you were live streaming, Travis. Everyone should go follow him. He's, he's, uh, I think I'm already following you. I don't know if I am. Everyone should click his click Travis's name and then click follow. He does good work. Um, but yeah, live streaming is kind of tough. It's split focus stuff. Uh, I was actually watching uh, K. Michael Russell earlier today, and he was like, he was like, how do you talk and st stream at the same time? And I'm like, um, you did it on Facebook. Oh, that's why I didn't see it. Um, I don't have Facebook. Uh, yeah, I was watching K. Michael Russell, and he was like, how do you talk and stream at the same time? And I'm like, dude, when you do something for 15 years, eventually most of the task is, like, washing dishes. Like, I really had to focus on her face, but, like, everything else has been like, oh, I'll just do this thing that I normally do. Um, I don't know if that makes any sense. You eventually get to a place where it's like, okay, I can autopilot, like, 75% of this and 25% I have to focus. Um, at any rate. Grifter's gauntlets look weird because they're like the only green thing on the page. We might, we might fix that. Uh, try to, try to get it more. My, I'm going to watch a lot of Miami vice and then we're going to come back to this and we're going to make sure. We're going to make sure that it's, burt reynolds under the mask i don't know who the, who's the actor on miami vice is it burt reynolds i don't i can't even remember <laughs> i'm old but i'm not that old <laughs> um but yeah we'll we'll be back uh hopefully today i'm gonna finish finish off uh the very end of the realm um and then i'm gonna be moving on to either uh alternating don johnson thank you <laughs> i'm gonna be moving on to either um this is what I'm working on right now. I got uh, another issue of Heartthrob in, so I'm going to be working on that. I got another, I got the start of Nightwing, but I don't have the full issue yet, so I'm going to be working on that. But both of those things are, um, although they need to get out on time, they're not on fire. So hopefully I'll be doing a little more streaming, uh, try to make up for some la lacking streams uh, last week. So we are going to finish this off, you and me. We're going to finish off this uh, grifter, you ding dong. <laughs> grifter and voodoo. We're going to finish it uh, tomorrow. So come join me for that. 
And of course, we're going to play some Battle Chef on the weekend. I'm going to try to remember how to play that. Um, so until then, until I see you tomorrow, everyone out there, you know what to do. Keep making comics. You better. <laughs>